Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to understand about the alter command in a SQL. So alter command generally we use in a SQL to change the structure of a table. For taking example, suppose I have already created one table. This is the table I have already created. Now after some time my requirement is like I want to add one more column into this particular table. Like I want a salary column also in this particular table. But I don't want to recreate the table. In the existing table only I want to add a new column, salary column. So in this case what we have to do, we have to modify, we have to change the structure of a table, right? So in this case we use the alter command. Now let's take another example. Now suppose you have created this table. Now suppose you have defined the employee ID as a worker. But ideally it should be integer, right? Now how actually you can change the schema like from varchar to the integer or from integer to decimal. So in this case also we use a alter because in this case also we are changing the structure of a table. Now let's take another example. Suppose this is the table you have created. Now in this table suppose this department ID. Suppose this department ID you don't need. Now you want to delete this uh, column from the particular table. Now in this case also we will use a alter command because here also we are changing the structure of a table, right? So whenever you have to change the structure of a table, you, whenever you have to modify any table column, we use the alter command that we have to remember. Now let's see how actually we can use. So suppose this is the table I have select star from employee 2023. And these are the column we have. My first question is like add a new column salary integer into the existing table without dropping it. So that is my first requirement. So how actually I can add a salary column? Let's see. So what we have to write? First we have to write alter. After that we have to write table and the table name. Which particular table? My table name is employees 2023. So I will write 2023. What I am writing? Alter table table name. Now I have to add a new column. So what I will write? Add. Which column I want to add? Salary. So I will write salary. And the data type also we have to define salary integer. So whenever you have to add a new column into the existing table, what you have to write? Alter table table name. After that we have to use the add command, add salary and the integer. Means what we are saying? We are altering this employee table and we are adding a salary column. Now if I will execute this. Now you can see command completed successfully. Now if I will show you the table, you can see salary column got added. Now suppose this is the table you have created. Now suppose now your requirement is like whatever the salary integer you have defined now you want to change into the worker. Means you want to change the schema. Let's take let's just taking example. Suppose you want to change the schema of this particular column from integer to the worker. So how actually we can do that? So for that what we have to write? Alter Alter table and the table name. What is my table name? employees 2023 now after that we have to write alter column we have to alter column salary right salary worker 128 so what i am writing i am altering the table employee table i am uh, altering this column whatever the salary it was defined previously integer rights i am converting into the worker so for adding a column, we, it was easy, right? Alter table, table name, add column and the salary integer. But suppose existing table column schema you had to change, then you had to use this syntax, alter table, table name. After that, alter column, which particular column, salary column, we want to change into the worker, from an integer to the worker. Now if I will do this, if I will execute this, you can see command completed successfully. How actually we can see whether it got converted from integer to the worker or not. So I will refresh this uh, database. I'll go to the my database. I have created this in the master database. This table is available in a master database. This employee 2023 and this is the column. You can see salaries. It is showing the worker. Now suppose I want to change into the integer. So what I will write? Alter table table name alter column salary integer. If I do this again it will get converted into the integer. So that's how actually we can uh, convert this from a integer to the worker or worker to the integer means we can change the schema. Now let's take another example. This is the table I have. Now my requirement is like I want to delete this salary column from this particular table which I already have. So how actually I can do that? 
alter table employees 2023 drop salary drop column sal drop column salary what we are doing we are dropping a column salary right so what i am writing alter table table name drop column and the salary if i'll execute this you can see command completed successfully if i show you the table you can see salary uh, column got deleted so like this actually if we had to modify any structure we can use the alter command so do practice this